guys welcome back to my channel today you are going to learn about aggregation and summarization in dax with power bi please like comment and subscribe my channel okay let's go before moving to our power bi desktop first we need to understand what is the purpose of summarization in any industry millions of transaction data with thousands of rows per day have been captured so from this type of large table you can prepare a summary table using aggregation logic and represent the summarized visual so performance of this type of visual will be faster if data is fetching from the summary table instead of the detail table detail table means where you have all the transactional data okay which has your raw data and you will get more optimized reports for a better experience optimized means the performance will be faster as it is coming from the summary table however you will lose the ability to cross filter on any level of aggregation which are not included in your summary table for example if you have a summary table based on your yearly year so that means you will not get any month data quarter data or day level information from that summary table because its data is based on year okay so that's why it's saying that the any level of aggregation which are not included it will be worse okay now there are three main dax function we have summarize summarize columns and group by we'll go one by one first summarize summarize you can observe it has a one table group by column name and expression table means like on which table based on which table i am creating this summary table okay that table name group by column group by column name means like what will the group by function like year or categorized data all those thing and name is the aggregated field name okay and the expression is the with the sum of some cells or sum of quantity sum of profit all those thing if i go to summarize columns you can observe here we don't have this table name okay here directly we have group by column name all those group by column name here you can provide the filter table that is also optional and name and expression these two fields are same as the summarize function now if i go to the group by function how it is formatted group by function and summarize function their syntax are similar okay table group by column name name and expression then why what is the difference between this summarize function and the group by function difference in this expression section because group by function it's working on some iterative function for example in my summarize column summarize uh, syntax if i am going to use sum as a dax function whereas in the expression section for group by i need to use sum x here is the difference between group by and summarize i'll show you in detail in our power bi desktop okay let's go now i am in power bi desktop I took one code where I have already converted my US superstore transactional data to a proper data model where I have all those star schema diagram. If you want to uh, visit how I have done that, you can visit my blogs about dimensional queries. I have created a new table, okay, with this summarize function where fact cells is my existing. cells table i have selected dim order year and group by column another is from product dimension is category now i have this cells table fact table and the dimension table date order date table and product table how it is uh, working because of its relationship i will show you i have this relationship data model already in place okay that's why i'm able to select those column from this different dimension table okay so if i use this 
I'll create this table where I have year column, category column and summary sales column. We can prepare one report based on this table. Okay. Now I haven't add any filter con condition in this summaries function. Now if I'm going to add some filter condition, how it will be look like? Let's go back to this function. This is also based on summaries function. Here I have added this filter condition. Within this filter condition, this table name, related table is the geography table. From where I have selected this region field and I'm selecting on the east region. Okay. Back at close. Now the year, the group by column and the category is our another group by column. I have given as a name as a summary cells. And within the sum function, I have selected this cells per column from this fact table. I have added another field, average cells, which is for that I am using divide function. Within that divide function, again I am selecting sum of cells and count rows of cells. That means it's divided by the sum of cells divided by this count of rows. So from this example, we can find out how this filter condition and all other DAX function is within the summarize function it is nested okay and uh, for the verification what I have done I have create one report from this table and create another report from those existing tables okay and validating the data you can observe the furniture for east is 47 here is also 2014 and the 47,000. Okay, data can be verified in that way. Here you can find out I have used summarized columns and this group by column year, another group by column category and the measure. That's it. I didn't mention any fact cells table name or anything. It is automatically it is taking the relationship. Okay, and my table has been created. Now, if I am going to add one filter condition with this summarize column, how it will be look like? I am using summarize columns, year, product, comma, filter. If we, if we can remember the syntax, we have one filter table. That means I am using this filter uh, name, filter DAX function. Within that, all for geography region and the, for the east. Okay, giving the condition in that way then summary sales and the division the same thing here you can observe i have created one table from that table and this is a verification for the other table my data is verified okay now it's time to go for one group by if i am going to use the group by dax function fact cells is a table name group by column name and cells by this is my name of the variable and here I have used instead of sum I am mean, using sum x within that sum x I have current group another function because it current group is nothing but the helping function it's a helper function for the group by if I am going to add some filter condition within this group by function how it will be look like so within the group by, I'm adding filter. The same, if you can remember the summarize function, it is, has this, all the same uh, syntax except this sum x. Okay. Others are same. Now if I'm going to use one calculate table function within that, this group by function, how it will be look like? It will be look like this. Calculate table group by and and the other field where filter condition is end of this function okay so why i'm using the calculate table so the approach uh, the results are same there there is a difference between the performance okay so today you learn about aggregation and summarization in dax i hope you like this uh, tutorial please comment and subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching